hello everyone and welcome back to my channel again dear friends hope you are all doing well in this video we will discuss another variety of uh, normal distribution problem so in the previous video i have discussed one problem on this particular topic right so if you have not watched it you can go through the description box i have provided the link over there so in a normal distribution 31 percent of items are under 45 and 8 percent of the items are over 64 find the mean and standard deviation of the distribution the problem which i discussed earlier uh, in that particular problem we were supposed we were supposed to calculate the probability but in this problem you are supposed to calculate the mean and standard deviation so while writing solution for this problem so start with let mu and sigma be the mean and standard deviation respectively okay which we have to calculate it is not given so already you know from the uh, normal uh, sorry normal variate there is a standard formula the standard variate the standard variate z is equal to x minus mu upon sigma so in the earlier problem mu and sigma were given but in this problem we have to calculate these so how to calculate first of all we will take the x value over here as 45 and then 64 so x is equal to at x is equal to 45 what will be the equation z is equal to sorry 45 minus mu upon sigma okay suppose i will call it as z1 say z1 okay so next is at x is equal to 64 z is equal to 64 minus mu upon sigma which will be your z2 say okay this is your uh, what we call the z equation standard variate now what is the uh, in what is in the problem 31 percent of items are under 45 what does it mean under 45 means probability of x less than 45 it is given it is given as 0 0.31 means 31 percent 31 divided by 100 is 0 0.31 so this formula you already know we were taking this st standard variate instead of x so i can take z is less than z1 okay so here z1 is not given directly in the previous problem it was given okay we were calculating first the z values we were taking accordingly but in this we have taken z as z1 so z is less than z1 okay so now there is a formula p of z is less than a so it is always equal to 0 0.5 plus p sorry a of z1 right so i can write here as 0 0.5 plus a of z1 which is equal to 0 0.31 okay so a of z1 is equal to 0 0.31 this 0 0.5 if i shift on the right hand side it will become 0 0.5 and i just calculate it so 0 0.31 sorry this is your complex one so 0 0.31 minus 0 0.5 is equal to minus 0 0.19 so a of z1 is equal to minus 0 0.19 19. now in the normal distribution table you have to check this value over there okay so in this way you can calculate see here uh, at 0 0.19 there is 0 0.5 corresponding value okay so it is available in your handbook they will give in the examination so like that you have to calculate right so uh, for the 0 0.19 there is uh, the corresponding value for z is 0 0.5 okay so it is coming as 0. 5 over there so you can write here a of z1 is equal to minus times a of 0 0.5 right so now compare this one left hand side and right hand side instead of z1 i can write 0 0.5 so your z1 value as 0 0.5 in this case okay now put this z1 value in this particular equation 45 minus mu right so let me 45 minus mu upon sigma is equal to 0 0.5 this equation i have put z1 value in this particular equation okay so now let me over simplify it 45 minus mu is equal to 0 0.5 times sigma okay so what i will get here so mu is equal to 0 0.5 sigma sorry it is uh, minus 0 0.5 actually over here minus 0 0.5 so i can take it over here as minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 now i can write uh, mu if i shift on the right hand side it will become positive mu so mu this is your minus 0 0.5 i will make it as it is minus 0 0.5 sigma is equal to this 45 this will be your first equation now another what is the another parameter eight percent of the items are over 64 means probability of uh, x greater than 64 over means greater than under means less than so i can take here second case 
that is probability of x is greater than 64 it is given 8 percent so 8 percent means 8 by 100 is 0 0.08 now x greater than 64 you can write it as p of z is greater than z 2 which is equal to 0 0.08 okay so now for this there is a formula that is p of z is greater than a it is always equal to 0 0.5 minus a of z 2 right now i will apply it over here so 0 0.5 minus a times z2 is equal to 0 0.08 so if i shift a of z2 on the right hand side it will become positive which is equal to and also this one plus uh, sorry this is a of z2 is equal to uh, this 0 0.5 minus 0 0.08 0 0.5 minus 0 0.08 i hope you are getting it this is the simple calculation so a of z2 will be equal to 0.5 minus 0 0.08 which is equal to 0 0.42 so 0 0.42 as a of z2 value now you have to check this 0 0.42 value so what will be the in the normal distribution table okay so i am getting it over here as a of z2 is equal to a of 1.4 in the earlier step i have showed you how to calculate this value okay like that you have to calculate this so you are getting here as 1.4 now i can compare these two equations so z2 is equal to 1.4 over here okay now put this z2 value in this particular equation so 64 minus mu divided by sigma is equal to z2 so 64 minus mu divided by sigma is equal to 1.4 okay so over simplify it 64 minus mu is equal to 1.4 times sigma now mu just shift it on the right hand side positive plus 1.4 sigma is equal to 64 this is your second equation now solve this uh, first equation mu minus 0 0.5 sigma is equal to 45 and mu plus 1.4 sigma is equal to 64 in the calculator over here okay so i will just go through menu alpha a simon equation there are two unknowns so i can take two over here so what is the value for mu coefficient of mu is 1 is equal to minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 is equal to 45 okay is equal to now for the second equation coefficient is 1 is equal to 1.4 is equal to 64 is equal to is equal to now you are getting value as mu is equal to 50 okay and next is sigma value y is equal to 10 that is sigma is equal to 10 okay and this is all about today's problem i hope this is clear so make sure you share it with all your friends thank you for watching my video